hello and welcome to everyone today we are going to discuss on kirasmus trial that is effect of propronium versus succin proline on endotracheal intubation success rate among patients undergoing out of hospital rapid sequence intubation tracheal intubation is the most critical emergency procedure Use of a neuromuscular blocking agent improves the overall intubating conditions and fast attempt intubation success rate, regardless of the choice of induction agent. Succin proline has traditionally been used as a preferred neuromuscular agent, but proconeum used recently has been proposed as a good alternative. When used at a dose of 1.2 mg per kg, proconeum has a similar onset time to scolin. As succin has several clinical contraindications and proconeum has no contraindications, debate over priority agent of choice has been persisted. Coming to study design, it is done in uh, France. Uh, it is a single blind, randomized, non inflammatory clinical trial and was conducted from January 2014 to August 2016 at 17 out of hospital MNC medical units. Coming to inclusion criteria, all out of hospital adults patients requiring MNC tracheal intubation as assessed by the MNC physician. Patients with all conditions like trauma, dyspnea, coma, drug overdoses, and so except the cardiac arrest were included. Coming to exclusion criteria, age less than 18 years, pregnant women, uh, allergy to the locronium, contraindication to succinicolin like personal or family history of malignant hyperthermia, non allergy to succinicolin, congenital muscular dystrophy, myasthenia, specific hyperkalemia, recent open eye surgery, and non congenital deficit in plasma chorine hysteresis. Coming to study intervention, in both groups, induction has done after pre oxygenation. Two hypnotics were recommended, one is citomated point at 0.3 mg per kg and second is ketamine 2 mg per kg. Immediately followed by intravenous bolus injection of either succinicolin at 1 mg per kg or rocronium 1.2 mg per kg. It was recommended to perform intubation 60 seconds after administration of the paralytic agent. Our primary outcome was the percentage of the patient with successful first attempt for tracheal intubation assessed by the physician and which was confirmed by a capnographic curve consistent over the three respiratory cycle. Thus, coming to sample size correct calculation with an expected percentage of successful first attempt intubation of 75% for patients in the succinicolin group after assuming a non inferiority margin of 7%. No, with a type 1 error of 5% and type 2 error of 20%. It was determined that 602 patients were needed in each group, total of 204. Targeted enrollment was set at 1300 patients to take into account risk of protocol deviations in this MNC randomization free context. Thus, 650 patients included in each group. So, Total of 1326 patients screened, among them 1248 were recruited. From them, 624 were randomized each in the Sosinicolin group and Rocoronium group. We found that 79.4% patients were intubated successfully in the first attempt in the Sosinicolin group. Whereas it was 74.6% in the rocronium group. Secondary outcomes like permeability rate, intuition difficulty scale score, and Coffinagel score were analyzed and found to be the same in both the groups. Alternative intuition techniques like using steel lead, gum elastic bouquet, UG, intuiting laryngeal mask airway, and cricothyrotomy were analyzed in both the groups and found to be more or less same in the both the group. Coming to uh, early intuition related complications, uh, there were uh, hypoxemia, severe arrhythmia, 
cardiac arrest, pulmonary aspiration and hypotension were analyzed, which are also similar in both the groups. And there is total 15 patients having intuition failure under direct randomization, from which there is 11 patients in the rocrodinum group and only 4 patients in the sustainable group. Coming to strength of the study, there is randomized control trial, uh, it is a multi center, and large population were included. Coming to limitations, uh, it is not double blind. Uh, the early complications were noted early. Uh, awareness was not assessed often from specific physician staffed out of hospital system. Higher dose of social credit may have been tried. Number of years practice for each patient not reported. Some such calculation as carried out from a hypothesis. Mm, the non input margin of 7% also comes from an expert opinion. So, the author's conclusion. In a medical based out of hospital emergency care system, a rocuronium compared with succinfolin failed to demonstrate non inferiority with regard to first attempt intuition success rate. We currently use rocuronium for intuition. This study, though done in an out of hospital setup, has shown that succinfolin is better than rocuronium with similar side effects. We will be encouraged to use succinfolin in intuitions where there is no contraindication. Thank you. Please check our website for further information.